Hello students, welcome to our today's lesson which is about multiplication and division. We will first define and work on the examples of multiplication and division and then find out the relationship between the two operations. First of all, we work with multiplication. Multiplication is defined as repeated addition. For example, if you are going to add the number 7 repeatedly, let's take it four times, 7 plus 7 plus 7. If we add 7 four times, so we will get a total. The total will be 28. 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 7 is 21, and 21 plus 7 is 28. So the total is 14. Students, we are not always going to take a long time to add large numbers or repeated groups of numbers. But instead, we use multiplication. We find out how many groups of numbers we have. In this case, we have four groups of numbers. How many do we have in each group? We have seven in each group. So 4 times 7 is equal to 28. In multiplication, the two numbers which are multiplied are called factors. And the result that we get is called product. The numbers we multiply are called factors. And the result we get is called product. This is about multiplication. And now we move to division. Division is defined as repeated subtraction. For example, if you are going to subtract 9 from 36 repeatedly, 36 minus 9 equals 27. 27 minus 9 equals, let me write the result here, 18. 18 minus 9 equals 9, and 9 minus 9 equals 0. How many times did we subtract 9 from 36? 1, 2, 3, and 4. We subtracted 4 times. If we are going to subtract a number from a bigger number so many times, it takes a lot of time. And instead, we use division. The number we are going to subtract 9 from is put here under the division sign. And the number that we are going to subtract repeatedly is put here. How many times 9 can be divided into 36? It can be divided 4 times. 4 times 9 equals 36. So 36 minus 36 is equal to 0. Now, the number which is divided is called dividend. It's called dividend. The number which is going to be divided into dividend is called divisor. It is called divisor. And the result of division is called quotient. So the result we get after dividing 36 by 9, which is 4, is called quotient. These are the parts of division. What is the relationship between multiplication and division? For example, if we have four boxes of pencils, in each box we have three pencils. How many pencils will be there all together? How many pencils? 4 times 3 equals 12. There will be 12 pencils all together. And in the other case, if we have 12 pencils and we are going to put them into four, uh, let's say boxes, into four boxes, how many pencils will we have? in each box. How many pencils will we have in each box? We will have three pencils. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 
or if we are going to divide 12 by 3 we will get 4 let's assume we have 12 pencils and we are going to put them in two boxes in each box we will put three pencils how many boxes do we need we need four boxes students if we look closely we see that four times three equals 12 but when we divide 12 by 4 we get 3 and when we divide 12 by 3 we get 4 so we can say that multiplication and division are in worse operation they cancel out each other when we multiplied 4 by 3 we got 12 but when we divided 12 by 4 we got 3 it means when we divide the product by one of the factors the result will be the other factor in this case 4 and 3 are the factors and 12 is the product when we divide 12 by 4 which is one of the factors we got 3 so 3 is the answer to our division problem we can easily say that division and multiplication are in worse operation i hope uh, this lesson makes sense for you if you couldn't understand any part in this lesson you can let me know in the comment section so that i should explain them in the coming lessons about multiplication and division have a nice time and thank you so much